Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is 9 Wholesome Stories Part 54 1. A couple weeks ago I was completely bogged down by assignments. Labs were due, homework needed to be done, and we had a quiz on Thursday that I was not prepared for at all. Not to mention that my one friend was bugging me to help him with stuff, and it felt like the world was against me. I honestly almost broke down crying once or twice. I was coming out of a building after going to a TAS office hours, which did not help, we spent an hour re-downloading the IDE because we apparently got the wrong version, and was heading straight to the library after grabbing something to eat to meet up with my friend. As I was rounding the corner I saw a guy in an elevator going down to the ground floor as the door was closing. That's alright. I'll just wait for the next one. Right as I was about to press the button, the door opened again and I saw the same guy. He said that I looked exhausted and figured that he would hold the elevator for me. We got to the ground floor, I thanked him, and we went our separate ways. Honestly, that guy was the only thing keeping me from going absolutely insane that day. I'll never forget what that guy did for me. Moral of the story, if you see someone who looks like they are exhausted or down or just look like they are about to cry, you don't need to go out of your way and do something big to help them. Holding an elevator door could be all they need. 2. Last year someone paid for my food in a McDonald's drive through ahead of me. It was me and my 10-year-old boxer who had just been diagnosed with terminal cancer. We were there just to get him some chicken McNuggets. I cried for a good 10 minutes afterward. I had the money, but you just never know what someone else is going through. I wish I could thank them. 3. I remember about a year ago I bought a drone, not a big expensive one, cost me about 30 pounds. Anyway I took it to my local park to fly it and after literally about 15 minutes I got it stuck in a tree. Fortunately this couple walking a dog saw and came over to help. We tried everything, climbing up the tree, launching small sticks at it, we even tried throwing the dog's ball at it all to no avail. The couple then left to try and find a bigger stick to get it down and after about 5 to 10 minutes they come out with this ridiculously large stick essentially a small tree trunk, and it took both of them to stand it up before trying to flick the drone off the tree. Miraculously it worked, so I thanked them and just went back home. Haven't seen them since unfortunately even though I live in quite a small area. Also the dog had the same name as me which was nice. 4. Stood up for me at a gas station. Cashier had a line of people and wasn't giving many FCKS, while I was paying she hoped on the phone and kinda chucked my stuff at me. I'm very socially shy and non-confrontational so I just started scooping up what I got I my arms and tried making my way out. The lady behind me noticed, and started cussing out the cashier for her rude service ignoring people in line for the phone. She reached over the counter and took a bag, and helped me fill it with my things. On our way out I thanked her and she was very nice, but I could tell she honestly didn't care, she's was just the kind of person who took no one's bullshit. She'll probably never know how impactful that was for me. 5. 10 days ago, I forgot to take my backpack in the train from the airport to a city, traveling for work. In this backpack was my work laptop, I am a researcher, image analysis mostly, and my backup hard drive. This was the only time in my work life where I had those two objects at the same place. I didn't have a cloud backup at that time. I realized it quite fast, but by the time I came back, the train was already gone, and the staff at the station wasn't helpful, I gave all the info. I started to break down, this meant that 80% of my work that I have done is lost forever. It would also probably mean that I would lose my job. I was like a husk for three hours, waiting for a sliver of hope. And then somebody contacted me on Facebook that they found it and asked if it was mine. They could have sold all the things inside for a sizable amount, 
but they were a good person. They only had my name in the notebook and they wanted to come to me to return the backpack. Somebody saved a lot of research and I now have my data on a cloud as well, laughing face. 6. When I was 7 my mom had cancer and couldn't get me ready for school in the morning, so my dad would try to do my hair and get it in a ponytail. I'm the only daughter and he had no idea what he was doing so it always looked horrible, but he was doing his best. My school bus driver would stop me in the morning and redo my hair and add butterfly clips and fancy scrunchies and make everything look perfect before I went into school. She did this for an entire school year. 7. I was driving home in South Florida at 3 a.m. in the morning. I ended up in what looked like a really shady town in the middle of nowhere, because I had to stop to get gas and go to the bathroom. There were a few shady individuals hanging around, so I ran inside to pay for my gas. The problem was I accidentally locked my keys in my car. So here I was in the middle of bumfuck Egypt Florida, 19 year old white girl in a shitty Kia, and I was so freaked out about stranger danger I started crying when I realized I locked my keys in the car. One of the shady looking individuals came up to me and asked me if I was okay, and I explained the situation and he proceeded to help me break into my car to get my keys out. I know this sounds stupid, but that day I really was put in my place about my opinions on people. I knew they hadn't helped me, I would have been stuck in Okeechobee, Florida at 3 in the morning with no money to my name. God bless those guys. I still think about that to this day. 8. Someone saved my life. Hurricane Matthew came through Norfolk, Virginia and I ended up in the middle of a flash flood. I tried to get out of my car but the water current was too strong and a stranger saw me. He hurried over to me and I managed to roll down the car window down just enough to squeeze out. He yanked me out and by the time, the water was up to my chin and then over my head. I kept losing my balance but he was strong enough to pull me up and dragged me to higher ground. He brought me over to 7 to 11 on higher ground, made sure I was safe, and then headed out again in the fierce storm. To this day, I never knew his name as no words were spoken. But I am forever grateful for him. Whoever you are out there, thank you. 9. I work locations on film sets and a lot of the time I'm road clearing to make room for the production vehicles. During the winter and summer the hardest part of the job is just surviving the weather cause you have to stand there for 8 to 12 hours by yourself in whatever weather there is, and no I don't have a car to hide in. One shift I was in a residential area for a 12 hour shift it's dash 10 c and snowing. As I'm pacing around this one old lady kept passing me while she was doing some errands and would always comment about how cold it was or aren't you freezing or are you alright and I would always reply that I was all good cause I'm used to is by now. Eventually I see her motion me from her home across the street so I cross to see what up. When I get to the door and she goes inside and motions me again very hastily so I go inside. She quickly closed the door and starts asking me if I wanted any tea or food telling me that I can stay in there as long as I wanted to to warm up. I get some tea but feeling a little awkward about being in someone else's house and not being visible on the street in case my boss came by, but it made my day. I really was cold and after drinking that tea my heart was warm enough to keep me going for the last few hours. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.